And see, you know, most niggas, man, believe that. Because the circumstance was heavy in whatever direction they went to, they got to keep going harder, harder, harder on that level of emotion. Let me speak to you real quick. The universe grants the opportunity to reignite or reconnect with circumstances depending on how well you're ready to express your personal forgiveness within you. Like, you got to forgive yourself for being a fucking idiot. Like, you got to stop it. Like, you got, if you don't stop that shit, you know what's going to happen? You're never going to get the opportunity to face your own problems. Like, think about what I'm saying. If you can never face your problems, that means that problem or that circumstance that you was that you was a part of is now removed completely out of your life in the whole. So, whether or not you think that's a good or a bad thing, the fact that you can't even be around the essence that brought you to that is is treacherous, yo. It's like, damn, I can't even get back to what brought me to it. Like, nah, it's, it's not no benefit. If it was something super good out of that shit, you would never get that again. And you would never get that from nobody else. And the new character that you carry now, because you wasn't able to show the universe, this was your issue, this was your problem. Now is 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 sewn into your flesh, sewn into whoever seen Dante whoever seen Dante's Inferno, right? Remember with the cross he had on his chest? It was sewn into his flesh. It was sewn into his flesh. Because him and his wife, right, they made a pact in front of God that he wouldn't touch nobody until he came home from the war. He lied. He broke that. So when she got taken by Satan or whatever down into hell, you know what I mean? The cross was sewn into his flesh. And the only way he can get that out of him is through redemption. Being able to speak towards the things that he did wrong and fight for that. You got to be able to stand on your truth, yo. That's the issue. You can't You can't be out here like, oh, nah, 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 nah. It wasn't, they, they don't know. Those are all negative energies, yo. Like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch Dante's Inferno. I'm serious. This shit is deep. It's a cartoon, but it's deep. You got books and all that. Like I did the book, the cartoon, and the real. Yo, the shit is deep. You hear me? The issue is, it doesn't matter what you go through in life. Divine can bring anything back to you. Anything. But you first have to show the divine that you was, that you are, you are able and willing to, able and willing to, Show them that you were ready for that gift that was given to you. It's always two ways to handle shit. And they break off into branches. So sometimes when it's so bad, you just can't deal with it no more. The exit is quick. Boom. You up out of there. Because it's too much coming at you. So you get a chance to float. That depends on the side. Then the other shit is... The other shit is, it's so much turmoil within that situation, you're being held. And you like, why am I being held? You know what I'm saying? Think about it. It speaks to the character of the individual. You got to shake out with them ashy knuckles. You know what I'm saying? You got to get up out of there. But you first got to be real with yourself. Like, you can't be walking around here like, yo, I ain't going to say this. I ain't going to say that because it's going to be like this. Fuck that. Speak your peace. He <laughs> stand on that shit. And if, if it's supposed to come back to you, if it's supposed to be good, the most high going to give you an opportunity to do that. But you can't be afraid to take that. Like, And when you take the opportunity, you can't go back into the same character that you was. You got to be like, yo, look, I fucked up. I love you so fucking much. I ain't know what to do. I wasn't used to that. I, don't, I still don't know what I'm doing right now. I just know I want to tell you the truth. I just know with the help of the divine right now, I might sound stupid. I just want to deliver that to you. Because you important enough for me to stand on mine. I don't know about anybody else in the world, but 
I got to get this to you because you was good. And I don't want something good that ever came to me in my life. Never want to come again. So even if I don't get a chance to have you back, maybe I get a chance to have something else as good because I stood on my square about being honest with you. You dig what I'm saying? See, and that's what people be missing out on the opportunities to have second chances because you don't never step up to the plate and be like, yo, you fucked that up. You just rather keep lying and 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 keep lying. So you know what the universe is going to do? And I say this in my other bills. The more you do certain things, that's the level you're showing the universe where to place you. You're categorizing yourself. So even if you stubborn in your head, it's not you being stubborn. That's how much of that negative energy is on your back. That's the shit you can't shake because it's on you so hard. So that's basically telling you that that energy got you. You got to shake that shit. And you got to stand on righteousness like, nah, yo, you know what? I was wrong. It wasn't you. It was me. I was wrong. And I should have been more open. I shouldn't have treated you a certain way. I shouldn't have lied. I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have did that. Whatever have you. Whatever that means for whatever the circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Stand on your truth. It even, yo. Hold on. Hold on one second. For me personally, right? I remember when I was younger. And I kind of seen this shit going down this road. Because all my niggas was the other way. They was like. Fuck that bitch, da 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 da. And I'm like, nah, son, this shit ain't right. So it got to the point, yo, this cedar smells so good. I'm burning some cedar right now. This shit smells so fucking good. Um, it got to the point for me that I knew I was going down the wrong tunnel. And I needed to keep my stability right. I had to keep my grounds right. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't going to turn away from the universe. Hell no. I wasn't going to turn away from the divine creator. Fuck no. I don't care about it. Nah, I'm not going that way. You nigga, I be fucked up. I'm not going down that tunnel with you guys. <laughs> so, for me, it was like, damn, yo. I started apologizing, even if even if I didn't know the person did what they did. I still took responsibility. That's how I was giving myself to the device. Like, I started taking so much responsibility. Like, I could have been lied to. I could have not been the wrong person that didn't know. I just knew the, the shit that I did. You know what I'm saying? Even if my shit was granted. Like, sometimes the energy of balance grants certain things to take place. People don't understand how this shit works in the universe. Sometimes, depending on how the type of person you is, the universe will grant certain negativity to balance shit out, to balance out the scales. Because we're in the middle of everything. The shit that's really evil incarnate and really positive incarnate is on both sides. You see what I'm saying? And we're in the middle, so we got to really stay balanced on that samadhi energy, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes the universe will grant certain levels of negativity. So even if I didn't, like, even if my shit was granted and I wasn't really wrong, like, you know what I'm saying, or oblivious to the shit that anybody else did, I still take all the responsibility. It'd be like, yo, this nigga don't even know what really happened. Like, I've been in situations like that. I'd be like, yo, it was all me. I fucked up. You know, I should have been more, you know, I should have, I should have did this. I should have, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm sincere. <laughs> I'm sincere right now because even if we don't never get back together, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know for a fact I was wrong and I shouldn't have did that. And I want you to, I want to apologize, you know. And nah, 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 nah. I did that back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I did that. And, and and then and it was crazy is the real truth will come out. Like somebody like come from the left corner or something, be like, nigga, you don't even know. Well, that motherfucker bitch ain't shit, nigga. I got proof. <laughs> I'll be like, word. Oh shit. Like just blow the whole shit out the water, right? And I'll be like, damn. Wow. I ain't even know all that. But it wasn't even about me knowing that. It was about me sacrificing myself to the divine for the divine purpose to be righteous it had nothing else to do with who was right or wrong it had everything to do with me choosing the divine period and that's the that's the real fight that we dealing with in the world how much will you choose the divine way or you just gonna keep sitting out here talking about somebody did this or somebody did that 
You know what I mean? Like, it ain't got nothing to do with none of that. It got to do with how you handle it. Can you handle it? You know what I mean? If you can handle it, then the divine got you. And that's just, that's the bottom line of that. No more, no less. If you can handle it, the divine got you. You know, so, and you know, I was talking about this in my other bills. I say something like, you know, most people think putting that shit out in the universe is what you're going to get back. Well, that's only because you're satisfying the flesh of what you want, the ideal of want. Don't want for nothing. Only want to serve the divine and watch the divine consciousness give you everything your heart desires. You can have, and I think I said this in one of my other bills, you can have somebody that, that, that was told that they was professional. Or you can have a true divine professional driving your car. Which one do you want? Somebody who was told that they was professional by another man or the actual divine professional? Blessed to you by the divine itself. And we are all trying to grow in some right, but before we get to that, it has to be categorized as far as your personal choices. And if this is how you're going to live, then shit, you got to deal with that. You got to deal with that. Look, I ain't going to even hold y'all. Yo, we already up to 11 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It was like 11.44 when I looked at the clock just now. So you already know the vibes. You know what I'm saying? Double numbers. I ain't going to hold y'all, yo. Naga. Deuces. Love yourself.